Once known as the largest homeless encampment in Phoenix, the zone may be clear now, but the city still has a crisis to address. Officials there are studying four cities right now to help under understand how they help the unhoused. Fox 10's Justin Lum joins us live now with the strategy. Justin. And Mark Christina, Phoenix chose four cities, all similar in population size, each with its own homelessness, homelessness crisis. And from the research, all of these cities either use some sort of structured campground, some sort of village, or campus. The Phoenix Office of Homeless Solutions updated city council members this week not only on its own strategy, but the tactics of San Diego's safe sleeping program opened last summer. Provided approximately 10 by 10 uh, space for that tent. San Diego also enforcing an unsafe camping ordinance prohibiting camping on public property. Phoenix researched Austin's tiny home community for those coming out of chronic homelessness. A 51 acre tiny home master plan community, the community first village. San Antonio's Haven for Hope transformational campus placed nearly a thousand clients in permanent housing in 2023. Finally, Phoenix studied Portland, including its plan to run six shelters or villages. Back outside the Human Services campus, the tents that stacked up across the zone are now gone since a judge ordered the city to clear the zone's encampment by last November. Phoenix's structured campground known as Safe Outdoor Space is now open near 15th Ave in Jackson. As of today, there are 43 people who are staying at the Safe Outdoor Space. A majority of them are using the designated camping site where you see all the tents. You also see two structures called X-Wings for those who are extremely vulnerable or working. We've already moved 30 of the individuals who have stayed there onto an indoor location. Rachel Milney, director of the Office of Homeless Solutions, says when fully operational, the SOS will have a capacity of 300 and camping will move under this large canopy. There is an immense amount of shade, um, not only for when it's raining, but also in that um, to, to get people out of the heat of the sun. It also has a wonderful warehouse space that will be used as, as uh, respite during the hot months as well. It's the only structured campsite in Phoenix for those experiencing homelessness, like Billy Ray Glass, who says he's still waiting for his housing opportunity. It's been a year already. It's way past a year. Everything that I need is in. Milney says Phoenix will have 790 new shelter beds coming on board and now prioritizing housing. Our true focus is, you know, now affordable housing we, uh, and supportive housing specifically for folks exiting that shelter system. Getting into the safe outdoor space is based on referral from the city, human services campus, or Community Bridges Incorporated. Meantime, Councilwoman Ann O'Brien is proposing a 600 feet camping ban around schools, daycares, and shelters, similar to bans like San Diego and Los Angeles County. Now, next week, community court in Phoenix officially begins, meaning homeless individuals who are cited with misdemeanors can choose to accept services or enter the tra traditional court system. Live in Phoenix, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.